Hi my friends, today we model this part which has the name uh, hand wheel with arcs. It is not so complicated comparing with the previous one. The source comes from uh, Timoteo Carrera Soto. This is the assembly. And this is uh, our object for today. You see, there is a mistake here. Seven is here and six here. It is the same dimension. I prefer seven. And we'll see how to manage this. This part is taken from uh, Timoteo Carra Soto drawings and you can uh, download it by watching the tutorial number 182. This is my drawing and uh, you see here an ellipse with the semi axis of uh, 7 and 3.5. You see here we have radius 16 for this circle of centers, centers of arcs. And radius 12 is uh, for this internal arc. We start by creating uh, uh, this part, but on the right position and the ellipse. As you can see, one uh, segment is uh, the sixth part of 360, which means uh, 60 degrees, of course. Let's start new standard millimeters IPT start sketch the start sketch is this one X Z we draw a line of 16 then another one which is uh, 12 plus 7 divided by 2 because here we'll place the ellipse ellipse vertical horizontal dimensions are 7 and 7 divided by 2 which is 3.5 coincident at this point with this end line we draw another line which will be the axis. An axis is a center line. I place it on the same, no, at the end of these lines and I place a dimension to have uh, all the sketch fully constrained. For instance, I select this. Seven. Finish sketch. Now I place here a plane with this axis and sloped. To do this, I select this plane, which is XY, and the axis perpendicular, which is Z z-axis. 
Now we apply this plane XZ and the axis was already selected. What is the angle? The angle is 360 divided by 6 divided by 2 because I want a semi arc. Then I apply revolve for this arc with this axis but coming to this ending to this plane. You see? Okay. The plane don't need to be visible and then I apply mirror of uh, this object, the first volume, about this face. Okay. You see we have a combination of two features. We apply circular pattern of the last two. If I select mirror, this is included automatically. And rotation axis is Z. Six times. Okay. And we have this nice contour. We continue with this uh, mid cylinder, this one, which has a diameter of 20 and a height of uh, 14. The plane is this one. F7 and we use rectangle this rectangle with uh, an axis I project this and we see a line up and no one down. Why? Because this is the way for uh, selecting this arc, this projection. Okay, then I move this up and I apply collinear this two. The only dimension needed is this how much? 20. Finish sketch, revolve, select profiles. You see there are also two profiles here. I select this one. Select axis is already selected, but not a fraction of 360, but all the circle. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't make a good sketch. Double click F7 and I eliminate this point to move this as you can see. I project the center point back and I place the mid point of the axis on the center point. Finish sketch and now we have full cylinder. Good. Next I uh, have to create this spoke with dimensions of 9 on 6 
between these two points four points the problem is with that uh, points sketch in this plane F7 I draw a line from the center to here with the length of 16 tab and an angle of uh, 360 divided by 6 And here we draw a circle. Circle is with the radius 12. Now I have uh, repeated, I had repeated the construction for the arcs. Why? Because if I try to project an arc, for instance this one, we have an arc and two circles. Yes, I don't need this. I cannot uh, project this arc. Good. I also project this short line. And now I can draw lines starting from here, going to this horizontal point and back. I move uh, this here. I didn't draw uh, that horizontal. Now I have, I suppose I can move this, yes. I trim this and I place it. on the circle this point on the circle this was not necessary I project this circle to be a construction circle I place this point on that circle and dimensions this is but let me make this a uh, center line. This dimension is 6 and uh, this is 9. You see what happens? I make vertical this line and containing the center point now is okay this is nine yes good finish sketch revolve that is only a close contour and only one axis okay circular pattern for the last feature about z axis how many six which is by default okay then i select this face i select polygon with four sides centered here I apply horizontal or vertical for one side 
and a dimension of 8. Finish sketch, extrude this, cut through all. Okay, now we have uh, finished the object of this uh, tutorial. Let's see what is the volume. High properties, physical update copy close drawing double click and paste the same value my friends I can apply material which is uh, aluminium in English aluminum not aluminium and uh, anodized light gray you can apply shaded instead of shaded with edges and you see the nice object we made today. Good. That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.